Julianne, um, big game, another big World Cup qualifier coming up against Russia on Wednesday, May the 7th. How vital is this game to Ireland's World Cup qualifying uh, chances? It's another massive, massive game um, where we hope to get a good result. Um, it was a heartbreak against Germany, uh, but all the girls' heads are back up again and hopefully we'll get a good result. Looking at the World Cup qualifying campaign, um, what's your thoughts on it? You've seven points after four games. Is that pretty much where you expect it to be at this stage? Yeah, um, we probably should have got a better result against Croatia. Um, it would have been nice to have got a win, but so far so good. We've done well and we're performing good, so hopefully we can continue throughout the campaign. And obviously the Germany game, you, you mentioned it earlier in that, you know, it, it was a performance and, and indeed a result that a lot of people didn't expect. Yeah, um, I think everyone was shocked throughout the whole football, women's football. Um, it was an unbelievable game to be part of and so close. The heartbreak is still in everyone's minds, but hopefully we can capitalise it on it um, with the experience and performance and bring it into the Russia game. You just got off to the best possible start in, in that particular game, getting getting a lead and that. And you, you kept that lead for a long time, almost an hour of the game before they equalised. Yeah, it was unbelievable when Louise got her head to us. Like, everyone was just, like, in awe, basically. But, yeah, to keep um, in the lead for that long was brilliant. Uh, we defended excellently as a unit and then to equalise as well was brilliant. So... Did that show a lot of character to, to come back? Like, I suppose, you know, you, you go 2-1 down with seven or eight minutes to go and, and yet you, you kept at it and, and got back on level terms. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I think it just showed the fight and the passion in all the girls and how much everyone really, really wanted it. Um, so it was excellent. And obviously the heartbreak of, of that winner. Yeah, like, it still is going through everyone's minds. Like, the vision of that ball going in is just sickening, but we've learned from it, so... Hopefully, we'll be fine. Will you use that as a motivation against the Russians? Yeah, absolutely. Um, to keep our heads for the 90 plus minutes um, to fight through from start to finish. Because there have been a, a few late goals in it this, this year already. Like you've had some great performances against teams ranked much higher than you, but you've conceded late goals against the likes of um, Canada and, and Germany. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've definitely learned from them two games that we have to concentrate from start to finish and uh, so that will never happen again. Just looking at the uh, Bosserne Women's National League, the campaign has uh, finished and uh, Piedmont just missed out on the league title again. Yeah, another heartbreak. <laughs> um, yeah, another close uh, league. It was brilliant throughout the year. Great performances. I think the standard has gotten even higher again. Um, but yeah, it was sickening to miss out again for the second year. Um, and, and do you find, like you've played in the league now for the last three years and that, do you find that the standard is getting better year, year on year? Yeah, absolutely. From the first year to now, there I've seen a huge improvement. Um, the standard of players and the performances have been better, in which we can see um, this has led to, to the national team that loads of girls are getting chances. Next week's going to be a big week for your family because you play here in Tala against Russia on, on May the 7th, and then your brother John plays for Sligo Rovers in the Satanta Sports Cup final on, on the Saturday. Yeah, it's huge now again for our families. It seems like they're always kind of connecting in with each other. So um, hopefully we'll get two good wins for the Russells. <laughs> and uh, just finally, um, obviously Tala is the new home for the women's national team. Um, how important is it to get a big crowd next Wednesday for the, for the game against Russia? Um, massive again, like the crowd that turned up for the Germany game was unbelievable. It really got behind the team and... It was like having a 12th person on the pitch. They really, really helped us and hopefully we'll get a great crowd again.